My daughter has been sleeping on this day bed since she was a wee one. And that Billy bookcase houses all her school stuff. But I think it's time to tidy up a little and perhaps convince her to sweep some stuff under her bed? Hello beautiful people! Welcome to my channel once again. My name is Winnie Luthien Thai and I hope every one of you is keeping well. Today, we're going to be doing something really special. We're going to be building a new bed for my little girl. And we're going to be doing this with two IKEA products, a Billy bookcase and some Carlex units. And this bed is going to provide her with lots of extra storage for her stuff. So, without further ado, let's rock and roll! I started with adding some timber to the back of her existing Billy bookcase to make it sturdier so that I can attach the bed frame to it later. Now, Maya wanted to be involved in the build, so I let her do some painting. And I think she did a fabulous job. Take a look. Look at Maya's painting. Not too shabby, huh? Next, I put together two new Carlex units. These are the four compartment units which suited what I had in mind best. As you can see, I have a quality control personnel there to make sure I'm doing it right. I used the height of the Carlex as guide and scored a line on the wall. This is where one side of the bed frame will be installed. Guys, so I'm supposed to put a brace on this wall. But guess what I discovered? I discovered some holes in the wall which I actually covered. Let's talk about those holes. So when I moved into this place, it had a built-in table on the wall. So what the carpenter did was they mounted the table on the wall so there was a brace underneath the table. That's where they drilled the brace into. So the holes are not very deep but they will save me quite a lot of time and effort drilling a new hole. <laughs> That's my cat. What I'm going to do is, I am going to use the existing holes, but I'm going to drill them deeper and um, try to align the frame, the wooden frame, to those holes. Hope it works. So the good news is all the holes that I measured coincided with the holes on the wall but I don't know why I have this so it looks like I'm, my wood is slightly lower than what I scraped on the wall thing is the spirit level show that it's level and if I add a slab It's level. <laughs> Besides attaching the wood frame straight onto the wall, I'm also adding some licks for extra safety. 
and I'm connecting the whole bed frame together with some metal brackets. Okay, let's go and see. Ta-da! Wow. Wow. Okay guys, there's one thing I discovered about the IKEA Kallax units. The frame, which is the thick part around the unit, they are actually hollow inside because they are made out of a honeycomb structure of recycled paper. Now don't get me wrong, it's absolutely sturdy for its use. But if you want to drill into it, then the screw might not hold very well. So what I suggest is to drill closer to the edge of the frame where there is real wood so that your screw can catch onto the wood. Or you can use a butterfly wall plug together with your screw. That will give you the extra hold. This is just a bit of extra information if you want to hack the Kallax unit. Now that I have the frames, I can add the bed slats. But before that, Maya wanted some twinkly lights. So we did that first with some cable hooks. The slats are basically screwed straight into the wood frames. I'm also using the width of the timber as spacing between the slats. One side of the slats will be resting on top of the Kallax units. So that was the bed done, but we aren't finished with the project yet. Now Maya has a bit of a height phobia, just like her mummy. <laughs> so she was asking me if I could make her some sort of a barrier around the bed so that she might feel safer when she sleeps at night. And I say, of course, of course I can do that. So that's what we're going to be doing next, along with some other projects. I put our in-house painter to work again on some recycled wood, while I am outside sawing some wood to size. I actually sawed everything manually for this project because I just got myself a new saw and it's so much fun. This is a picket fence inspired barrier which Maya wanted. Again, I used metal brackets to install it. Another project is this hanging board which I made from some scrap wood and cabinet knobs. I also added a step up to the bed. Alright guys, that's it! The bed is done! But before I leave you with the reveal, I would love that if you could give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video and do consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the review.